Um, now, the program was announced originally in June 2024. Um, it was effective as of August 19th, 2024. So applications opened up. Um, people were eligible to apply as of August 19th, 2024. Um, recently, it was stayed by a Texas district court. I believe the Eastern District of Texas stayed it. An administrative stay just basically means that they're going to still accept applications, but they're not going to grant or deny any of them. They'll accept them but they're not gonna grant or deny them. Um, and that stay was from uh, August 26, 2024, and it was 14 days. So it'll end on September 9th, 2024, which is five days um, from the recording of this video. Um, and there's many states that are seeking to block the process. So if you're eligible to apply, I recommend that you apply as soon as you're able to. Um, you'll hear that a lot, but um, again, the program's tentative, much like DACA was or is. Um, so same thing, um, if you're eligible, uh, go for it. Um, the process is completely online, so you need online access to apply. Um, if, you're, uh, if your parole in place is granted, um, you actually become eligible for work authorization and a social security card without anything else. So in most instances, if you get paroled, you're gonna apply for other things, like you'll have your spouse petition for you, you'll apply for a green card and all that, and you can get work authorization that way, but you also actually just get your own independent, if it's approved, you can just apply for work authorization right away on its own without doing an actual uh, spousal petition or family petition, which is a really nice benefit. Um, you can't leave the U.S. with with the parole. You should stay here and utilize it and get your residence before you travel anywhere. Um, it can be terminated 